art triggers the intellect, rejuvenates the imagination, and invigorates the spirit. Jadani, The Art of the Story. Music, words, and narration by Colin Knight. Jadani, tis. Jadani is what it is. Jazz dance, art, drama, and imagination. Jazz dance speaks for itself, music and dance. Likewise, art and drama, and is aligned with imagination. Where are you now? Come journey with us to a world within a world within a society within a world. Once you fall in love, the Love of Life Jazz Audiobook. Words, music, and narration by Colin Knight. P.S. Tomorrow. P.S. Tomorrow, today will be yesterday. We will be together soon. She waited. Her current state of mind saddens the doctor. She is cheerfully melancholy, happy to be sad. Dr. Paul changes Christine's medication and immediately starts her music therapy. He introduces the stressed out young artist to the metaphysical jazz narrative and suite, the man with the two canes. Madness, dealing with hard times is like struggling in quicksand. Intricate Kit has no time for hard times, period. He is unfair, underhanded, and unwanted. And that's a fact of life. The headlines of the Philadelphia Entertainment Weekly read, Splendorous, larger-than-life global icon welcomes you to the new Crossroads Supper Club. New when Frank knew what they were doing, Christina Christina is an overnight success. The Crossroads Supper Club is the place to be in Philly. Lou Kelly Cringe. The thought of his little girl with that Carter St. Clair was unbearable. He had to put an end to that frivolous affair. Lou and his old simplified lifelong buddy and drinking pal, Frank Cross, conspired to break up Chris and Carter's so-called romance. They both had their motives. Most of all, Lou and Frank wanted their kids, Christine and Joey, to be together. That meant Carter had to go. From then on, Lou intercepts every one of Carter's letters to Chris and destroys them. He and Frank spread rumors and lies around the club about Carter flirting and womanizing. They tell Joey that Carter and an old girlfriend from law school have been stopping by for nightcaps. The crafty conniving schemers plant the seeds of suspicion. The scandalous undertones flower on their own. The narrative intrigues Christine. She goes all the way. Chris purchases the musical score, record album, and several videotape performances of the man with the two games. Once you fall in love, the love of life jazz audiobook with words, music, and narration by Colin Knight. A memorable occasion. The Philadelphia Metropolitan Opera House. Meet me at the Met. The grandeur of the Philadelphia Metropolitan Opera House 
takes Chris and Joey by surprise. Not to mention the royal reception that their mother receives in the lobby upon arrival. Through the eyes of a seven and nine year old, the two superstars were larger than life. It was like seeing double. Their mother and the prima ballerina Sanchez were like twins, down to the last detail. And when Chris and Joey find out that the acclaimed dancer is a distant relative, they are speechless. A devastating chain of events turns the renowned prima ballerina Catalina Maria Sanchez's life upside down and inside out. 2300 hours, Christmas Eve, 1963. Topsy turvy, around they went, here and there, battered and bent. Oh my God, the end is here. Desperation, panic, fear. The catastrophic accident on the Autobahn places Catalina Maria Sanchez on the brink of death. Five, six, seven, eight. Dance, 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 Catalina, dance. Catalina dances on the fifth day. Nevertheless, when the prima ballerina returns to Cuba, she abandons the stage. Alas, Catalina dances her last dance. Dance! Dance, Catalina, dance! We celebrate and commend Catalina's success in the military, though in our hearts, we long for her passionate performances. Nineteen seventy three, KGB headquarters, Moscow. The door opens. A silhouette of a tall, shapely woman fills the entrance. The stunning figure stands out like an exquisite work of art. For a moment, time stands still. She steps into the room closing the door behind her, erasing her image, and simultaneously filling the air with an alluring fragrance. The lean six-foot-two Marine straightens up in the chair. Hours of rigorous interrogation had beaten him down. But beauty beats the beast. He closes his eyes and takes in a deep breath. The enticing image and the intoxicating aroma of the intriguing perfume conjures up pleasant memories of bygone days. The growing intensity of the tantalizing scent telegraphs the emergence of the tall, shapely woman from the darkness. The shadowy image arrives in full stride, approaching him in a slow, steady, methodical cadence. With each step, the dim ceiling light reveals more and more of the lady's astounding features. The closer she gets, the sweeter the scent. The sweeter the scent, the closer she gets. In the end, she is upon him. The incident in the Zambezi nightclub that led to the 1949 shooting in the 2000 block of Nicholas Street had long since entertained my thoughts. They were now in the past. Over 50 years ago, and more than a hundred miles away, in my hometown of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And, if not for an encounter, on a New York City street corner in the fall of 1999, I believe the 1949 murder would have remained buried in the depths of my mind. The 
The gunshots rang out like Civil War cannons in a Saturday afternoon matinee at the Pearl Movie Theater. The blast from the large handgun made my little 22 caliber rifle shots at Camp Lookout last summer sound like child's play. The silence of the early morning hour added to the loudness. A serious miscalculation on my part in the last few seconds of my third intercity bout proved costly. The mishap sets me up for a flurry of stunning, lightning-fast left-right combinations from my opponent that rattled my brain and left me seeing stars. The hard-hitting one-two connections with those gigantic boxing gloves sent my head every which way but off. It happened so fast, I was out on my feet and whacked out for days. New York City, 1999. A productive day, I thought, as I thanked my friend for his invaluable time and advice. His expertise, a master percussionist, had captured and laid to rest one of those elusive, uneasy, rhythmic elements that had haunted my composition since his conception. I reaffirmed my gratitude, said goodbye, and made my way down the three flights of steps to his walk-up. I was in the vestibule in less than a minute. I took a few seconds to reflect and to check my do not forget list before continuing. All was well. It all happened so fast. The little boy's father drops like a sack of potatoes, dead on arrival, as he hits the sidewalk. It was uncanny. One moment, the man was there, playing with his little boy. The next instant, he is lifeless, in a puddle of blood. The killer steps back, removes a handkerchief from his pocket, and rigorously wipes the blade. It. The journey is over. From there and then, to the supernatural, to the unknown, and finally, to the here and now. The mystical magic of Jad Annie, the art of the story. It is the consonant and dissonance of the music that captures the ear of the listener. In dance, it is the defiance of gravity that stimulates the kinetic curiosity. It is the contention and harmony that mesmerizes the viewer of spatial art. The dramatic tools, ritual disruption, and unresolved conflict give life to drama. And is the road to the imagination. The equivocal A N. D, the grammatical connector slash the logic operator is a true plus. In Jadani, and represents our inquisitive nature in addition to the zeros and ones of the binary system, the ancient mathematical system that governs much of our modern day technology. And A-N-D is indeed a credit to society. Jad Annie, the art of the story, is the source book for Jad Annie, the creative agents. Although, in and of itself, Jad Annie can and will open the window of the mind and enlighten many, the fact remains creativity is a gift. Capacity and capability set the boundaries and the limitations. However, human nature determines its goal. Follow the lyrics from the musical, Life, Deal With It, Live. 
all things are relative. Negative, positive, live. You have experienced Jed Annie, the art of the story. Music, words, and narration by Cullen Knight. Be aware and hurry along slowly.